Hi there and thanks for watching. So this is the Xiaomi, um, no actually it's not a Xiaomi, it's a Yealite dimmer switch. Uh, it's supposed to work with the um, Yealite uh, ceiling lamp, which I have here, so I can dim it. This one is hardwired uh, and it requires power from the actual outlet here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this here. Now there are some things to consider because this is not adapted to Norway, which I live. So I, I think I'm going to need this uh, dimmer box here. So this is a box for, basically you just put this on the wall and it kind of sticks a bit out, but it fits with the, uh, the switch like this. So it goes, goes in like that. So this is the, uh, here is the original box from the for the e-light dimmer and I'm gonna start putting it in the wall so let's see how it goes so first step is to actually just remove the button and uh, make sure that you know the switch fits over the hole which it does so that shouldn't be a problem there's not, not there's a, enough room on both sides for the switch Okay, now I'm very lucky here because this switch here is connected only with two cables. So this is the live cable, which is connected. Uh, as you see here, it's an L. Uh, inside here, you see the black cable is just hooked up together, which means that the switch only turns on and off this one circuit between those two um, cables there. I'm not an electrician, so I can't explain how this works. I just know how this kind of works. Um, yes, so I'm just going to take these two um, uh, cables out. Uh, I'm going to take the L, which is going to be the L1, and this one is going to be the L2. And I'm going to put them into the uh, switching box, which you see here. Uh, it's a, uh, just labeled L and L1. So the um, L here is going to be the L, and this here is going to be the L1 in my case. As you can see here, this box here uh, in the wall, it's an Elko box. I think that's what it's called. And there's no way I'm going to be able to fit this brown piece inside of this blue box here. That's why I need the, uh, the plastic uh, uh, riser that I have here, which I'm just going to put on the wall here and in order to get it to fit. So it's going to stick a little bit out. It's not the most beautiful solution, but that's the way to do it if you want to not rip everything out from the wall. Um, I'm going to screw this into the wall using the two screw holes that I have there and I have to remove that back plate there. So that's uh, what I'm going to do now. So here I have removed the, um, the um, light switch and you see here that there is no way I can actually put this here inside this box here just simply doesn't fit. So it doesn't fit in the European or Norwegian sized wall boxes. So I'm gonna need this spacer here. Now the spacer, I'm gonna to have to remove the wall there and I'm just gonna screw it into place here using two screws. So let's do that. So here I'm gonna give you a pro tip. So if you look on this spacer here, it has small these small edges, let's see if I can get a focus, 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 come on, come on, focus, yes, almost. There's these small little edges here, you can break them off by using a pliers like this and just hold it and kind of wedge it back and forth to get them off. If you don't remove these small little notches here, and this thing that you put in here won't go all the way in. So you'll see here, you'll get a, a, a space there. So it's important to remove those edges. So now you see there's a, it's a nice fit inside this box here. All right, that's it. Connected the um, switch box to the cable in the back there. And that went, uh, went well. So no, no issues there. Now I'm just going to screw this back into place and put the lid on. And uh, that's it. It's not the most beautiful solution, but it works. 
and it allows you to use the dimmer switch with the lamp. So now I have to go put the main breaker back in and put the power on and connect it to the uh, lamp in the ceiling. 